So I often get asked, what are some things you can do for protection? Let's get into it. First, let's start off with what I like to call kitchen counter herbs. So rosemary is good for protection, basil is good for purification, and bay leaf is good for dispelling. If you feel like you got something on you, you get it off by burning some bay leaf. Now on the more intricate side, horsetail is used for setting boundaries, St. John's wort is used for banishing, and then you have skull cap, which is used for resolving conflict. And if you feel like somebody gossiping about you, use some clove. Now you would use these herbs just as you would use sage. So you could use them to smudge, you could take a spiritual bath with them, you could diffuse them if you have the oil version. However you want to use them, you just want to disperse them throughout your house. Now I already done told y'all about the importance of keeping your house clean and decluttered. When you got a lot of clutter and dirt going on in your house, that's how you trap negative energy and negative spirits. Once your house is clean, I already done told y'all to lay that salt down in the four corners of your home. Lay some salt down. I already done heard people talking about, oh, I got carpet. I can't lay salt down. Make some moon water. When it's a full moon, that's for release, right? We talk about protection. When it's a full moon, you want to put a jar of purified water outside and you allow that moon energy to infuse. That's your moon water. Put some sea salt in that moon water and you want to put a little bit of that moon water in each of the four corners of your home. At the threshold of your home, you want to lay down some casserilla or some brick dust right along the threshold, right outside on the other side of the door. Lay some brick dust down. Okay, you can lay the brick dust down on one side or the casserilla on the other side. Brick dust on the outside, casserilla on the inside. That keeps negative energy out your home as well. Now, crystals that are good for protection. You want black tourmaline. You want crystals. You want obsidian. You want onyx. You want tiger's eye. You want clear quartz. You want smoke quartz. All those things are good for protection. Amethyst as well. Bloodstone too. Now this is for people who honor Orisha. By your front door, you gotta remember your front door is the gateway to your home. So by your front door, you wanna have a little offering basket right there. In that offering basket, you wanna have some coconut, some coffee grounds, some sea salt, some red apples. And in addition, you can, uh, a, 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 oh, this, this, this might be a little too much, never mind. Just top it off with some roses, y'all. So sometimes I gotta stop myself because I, you know, I, everybody ain't ready for the ready for, okay? Everybody ain't ready for the ready for. So sometimes I got to, I gotta hold back. But that offering basket is enough. If you can, add some rum to it. Um, but, but that offering basket is enough, okay? This, that's for Elagua. Elagua is the guardian of the gateways. Shango is that warrior energy, okay? So those apples is for Shango. The, the coconut and stuff is that for Elagua. I, 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 go ask your godparents. Now, for the crystals, you can keep those in your home. You can carry them with you. Everything I just named, you can mix up and make a little mojo bag. You can make your juju jar. Keep it in your car. That's how you have a little traveling altar. Keep your little traveling altar in your car. Keep these crystals on you. Keep them in your home. All the, Everything that I just named, you can put up together, take a spiritual bath in, put carry with you, but it's just for protection, okay? Mix it as your spirit leads you. Much love.